everybody. How's it going? I'm, I'm a little bit giddy right now. Check out the waterfall over here. I'm, uh, I'm with Max here at Stone Brewing Company, the original location. They are absolutely killing it here. And uh, they've got one beautiful property, and they're expanding. And we are very lucky. We just got a private tour with Mitch, the brew master for Stone. Great guy and just took us in and showed us everything going on. They're, they are busting out the seams. I think they went from uh, 110,000 barrels to over 150,000 barrels from year to year these last two years. And um, this is why. They make damn good beer. I mean, really, really good beer. You probably just saw a review from Max, a rare 4.5 mugger for their Stone IPA, and um, it deserves every bit of it. I, I totally agree with them. And this one is their Stone Pale Ale, an American Pale Ale. It comes in at 5.4 on the uh, my alcohol Richter scale. Much darker, as you saw the side by sh side by side shot earlier, the IPA versus the pale ale. So definitely you're expecting more of a maltiness coming through because you know they're not coloring this for any reason. It's truly the the malts coming through. As far as the uh, let me whip this around for a second. You know, um, you know, Max. For me. It smells like a little bit like the Arrogant Bastard because of the malts coming through. It's not as strong, and you don't you don't smell the strength, but definitely that malty and hop combination balanced together. That's what I'm getting on the nose with the uh, with the pale ale. I'll admit it, I love this one. It's it's a it's um well I will drink it. And it's one that you can drink several of. Yeah, you know, with the 5.4, you should be able for you beer drinkers out there like myself and Max, you're gonna be able to have you know I. I I don't want to mention numbers, but six, seven, eight, nine of these, and they just do just fine. Over a couple day period. Yeah, right. Over a weekend. <laughs> That's what I meant. Uh, anyway, so the, the flavor is a, a really beautiful combination of, of crystal malt and hops, and makes it a very smooth, enjoyable beer. How about this? It has a lot more flavor than the 5.4 would lead you to. It's got, it's, it's very, it's very full of flavor and well balanced, has a great mouthfeel. Max, I'm going to give this four mugs out of five. Are you, is that okay? I, I agree. I think it's a great pale. It's, a, it's at least a four. So I'm going to go with four mugs out of five for the Stone Pale Ale. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you, uh, Stone, for this. This, uh, this is my first time here, and it's just been it's been great. So we're going to do uh, one more, um, probably do a review with me and Max together of this beautiful facility and everything they're doing there. They're a uh, great maker of beer, a great distributor of beer, and they got a nice restaurant we're about ready to eat at as well. So cheers, mahalo, craftbeerman.com.